After a career-threatening injury, Danny has undergone intensive physiotherapy and major back surgery. In 2013, however, he's determined to make his most amazing film ever. But if he's going to fulfil his dreams, he's going to have to reach a peak level of fitness. Right now, you know, I only look like the next two weeks ahead of myself. I'm hoping it will get fully better. After months of recuperation and unable to ride his bike, Danny is taking his first training sessions ahead of one of the most important public engagements of his career. Earlier in the year, I basically got asked if uh, I'd be part of the Olympic torch relay, which I thought was, um, was pretty cool. I was a little bit nervous. You know, I didn't want to just kind of ride along whilst uh, holding the torch. I thought it'd be fun to do some tricks. So I went out in, you know, in the morning and did some practice out the back of my flat. It's good to be back on the bike. If I'm honest, I'm a little bit nervous about it because I've not really been riding. I've been trying to think of something good to use as a torch. I'm not too sure if this is going to be the same weight as a torch. I've heard the torch is quite heavy, but... Right, let's go for it. Mm -hmm. I'm getting to ride my bike with the torch, which is pretty amazing. I quite fancy doing some tricks with the torch because I think it'll be funny. I need to give it a wee practice. The power wheelie really in the skid, you always use your left brake, so I might just stick to those. The Olympic torch is, you know, too big an opportunity to miss, and uh, yeah, I mean the back should be fine for it, I think. Right. And just light the torch like that. I think as long as I don't singe my eyebrows or the creds' eyebrows, it should be all right. It's pretty amazing. It's, uh, I can't believe how many people are here today, so I'm quite pleased the training paid off. The streets of Glasgow are lined with well-wishers, all eager to catch a glimpse of Danny and the Olympic torch. I think I was making the, the sort of security run pretty fast. Oh, it was amazing. She just uh, really good my mum came down the bus today. Yeah, I think it's about a seven hour journey, so yeah, it's a good effort. Oh, it was exciting. It was fantastic. I was a bit, a bit worried about the torch because we don't know what it's like with fire. <laughs> it was quite a media circus, if you know what I mean. So it was kind of weird holding this thing that you could feel people's eyes kind of just sort of following you about the place. And I don't think I was quite prepared for what it was going to be like. So, but it was brilliant, you know. We managed not to fall off, burn anything, and now we get to keep it. Yeah, I definitely feel very honoured to be able to do it. And yeah, and now I've got a sweet Olympic torch. You know, it just sits as my bog roll holder. With the glory of the Olympic torch behind him, Danny can get on with the serious business of the production of his brand new film. After weeks of fruitless searching for the right filming location, Danny may have found the perfect venue right on his doorstep. Today we just come down to the Calvin Hall in Glasgow, uh, which has got the Transport Museum connected to it at the back. Um, yeah, we've managed to get access in and have a look, see if it's going to be right for the project. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it looks huge from the outside, so I can't wait to see what it looks like from the inside. I remember coming here on a, a school trip when I was uh, 11 years old, and it was just filled with trains and old uh, rally cars and motorbikes and all sorts of stuff like that, so it should hopefully be big enough, but it's just whether or not we're going to have the, get the access to it. How old's the building itself? 
This has been here since 1925. Oh yeah? Yeah. It was part of the British Empire exhibition. Mm -hmm. But then it, then it, it big heady was the circus, the carnival, Marvel the mo modern homes. Yeah, there's so much you can think about doing here and, and, and it's a very unique opportunity because it is scheduled for demolition that you're not really going to do any harm. Like say for instance, if say, say the access, say these rails up there and things, like to use that level. Yeah, yeah. What would be the possibility of like you know, obviously, talking through what we would do, it yeah. would be the possibility of modifying any of that ourselves. Would it be oh, all? Yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. Listen, if you, if you were wanting to do something for that video shoot, you, you could probably have the run of the place down here, yeah? Okay. Yep. It's, it's good, and I mean, there's, you kind of feel if you've got like a, a big cherry picker, you could probably. Oh. You mean like. Like this one here? <laughs> <laughs> wow. You want to go up the we'll take a walk up. Yeah, this yeah, is a pretty expansive area as well, upstairs. Okay. Look at this place. Yeah. It's a pretty, it's got a lot, a lot of potential here. Um, so many things in place already, you know, like the mats, to learn, you know, to learn some of the tricks initially. Um, we've got our, uh, the transport around the place. For me, it's, uh, I find it incredibly hard to get my, my head around spaces like this. I mean, I feel like I'm a kid. And I'm given like, I don't know, it's like the biggest toy ever. It's just like, uh, I think we could do something pretty amazing here. You know, what an opportunity. Danny being a Scots guy, coming down to Glasgow, great for Glasgow life, so uh, really, really hoping we can, we can have him here, yeah? I mean, the space was absolutely incredible. You know, we really have got everything I could, I could possibly need to do this project and also get myself back to health. You know, you've got, the sports facilities that are in the place, you know, we've got the huge space that we can do whatever we want with. I mean, I see it's been quite a life changer <laughs> going in that place. You know, you've really got everything I could possibly need to have the best time. So hopefully, you know, hopefully we can, hopefully we can get into it and uh, make it happen. While negotiations continue to secure the perfect location for his new film, Danny now needs to concentrate on his level of fitness. In search of recuperation inspiration, he takes a visit to see his old sparring partners, the Athertons, at one of the highlights of the mountain bike calendar, the Fort William World Cup. Right, Danny. I should be racing, mate. Oh, should be, well, maybe one day, yeah. Fort William, the, the World Cup of Fort William's always been such a big event. I mean, it's the biggest biking event that happens in the UK, and it's also really close to home. You know, it's only like a couple hundred miles from, from Sky, and it's somewhere I've been coming ever since the sort of first ones. I think it's always voted one of the best World Cups in the circuit, just because there's there's such a good turnout of fans. There you go. Thank you. There you go. It just makes for a really good atmosphere. I think one of the good things about the World Cup is it gathers the whole mountain bike scene from all over Britain there, so I get to hang out with a lot of my friends that maybe I don't see for the rest of the year. It appears that Atherton's having a wee signing session, so we're going to queue up and uh, I might get my Chebs signed. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no, right. oh, this is the man's autograph you want. Oh, I was here to get an autograph myself. <laughs> How's it going? Look at Tiger. How are you, bud? So I've been all right. I've been able to kind of start getting back in the bike a wee bit, but uh, just riding a bit cross country. Yeah. Nice. Flat out, probably. No, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, mate. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, How's it going? Yeah? Take care, bud. What is that? Being a bus. Ah, nice, nice wee green. <laughs> Get away. Yeah, cool. Yes, good, good. Well, I'm kind of, it's, it's quite nice being able to turn up to events and kind of swan around, not really having to do much. But if you had to, uh, you know, uh, sort of concentrate on your racing, I'm sure it could be a bit of a distraction. But these guys take it in their stride. Do you feel like you learn much from Dan after? I, de I definitely do. So the constant professional. Um, I learned how to eat dessert from Danny McCaskill. What are you talking about? Cheesecake factory. <laughs> oh, whatever. Come on. I've been in the gym. Can I get one of those? Been in the gym. What? What gym? <laughs> to, <laughs> what? <laughs> exactly. It makes me sweat just looking at it. Like, it sounds a bit wrong to be fair. <laughs> yeah. You can cut that out. Yeah, it's uh, race day today, uh, and we're going to head up in the gondola and do a course walk, watch everyone come down. 
Yeah, I thought I'd give uh, everyone a bit of a cheer from the side. So I brought the Olympic torch and I brought this and uh, also brought a roll of duct tape. So we're just going to see if we can attach the, the air horn to the end of it. We'll see. <laughs> oh, aye. In the words of Guy Martin, proper job. I think uh, this would be maybe a first in the course. I don't know. Maybe just a guess. Should we give it a wee go? Yeah. <laughs> With Rachel about to compete in one of the biggest races of the season, Danny heads out onto the course to cheer her on. We're up on the course watching the, the women's finals. That was Rach going past. Hopefully for the win, it'll be pretty good. Yeah. It was cool going on up there and uh, you know cheering on the Athertons. You know I got to hang out with them quite a lot while I was out there in California. So. After seeing what they put into their training over the winter, then I'm maybe slightly biased towards them when it comes to the, the kind of racing season. You guys a good reception going down here, that. Leaving for William kind of left me feeling, you know, that I need to get back on the bike and just really try to get over this injury. Danny has decided that Glasgow's Kelvin Hall will be the location for his new film. You know, I've kind of had the the option to cut, you know, to do something quite unique here. We may as well kind of all stick our neck out and try to come up with something really cool. Armed with notebooks, bursting with ideas, Danny takes a trip to Edinburgh. I'm just going to go and meet up with my friend Alex um, up at the art college. Is he? Uh, he does art, funnily enough. And uh, see if we can get some storyboards written up uh, for the warehouse project. So going to be pretty cool to kind of sit down and try to give everyone else a bit more of an idea of what I want to do. Because uh, at the moment it's uh, stick men and a lot of it's in here. Kind of got some slightly out there ideas for this project, which is kind of weird. It's amazing having all this to make one little writing video for YouTube. <laughs> but I'll, I'll start with this one because this is the first one. So it's basically like I wanted to come up with a project where I could do anything I wanted. There's all, you know, if you, if you imagine all the different tricks you'd love to kind of try to do, but I thought it'd be cool to have something where you could basically put anything you wanted into it mm -hmm. to make that happen. Right. So there's really like things that are borderline ridiculous. I mean, there was uh, like a sheep chariot. <laughs> <laughs> this is my this is my slide, as you can see. Oh, it's a tunnel slide. Yeah. Okay, you, nice. So you could so you could maybe so you have costume change. Yeah, well that's the thing. Yeah, nice. So there's things really where nice. you could, yeah. I've got a feeling, like I can, I can feel what the f the film's gonna be like, but I can't like describe it. To be honest, it's kind of it's mad. It's it, it feels kind of like madness. I would say, I've really get, been given such a free reign, and not that many people are saying no, you know, to the ideas. So pretty much anything, any, anything goes in here. Oh, I mean, day to day, it's like it goes on and on and on. It's, um, and that's what that's a big one. I mean, initially, it's it's really trying to get I don't know how many pictures we would, how many sort of drawings and things we would need, but it takes shows of this project. If you, if you manage, to imagine getting like say even forty percent of this into an edit. I think it's going to be pretty. Uh, it should be something quite different. Mm -hmm, definitely. I think we are sticking our neck out on this one. It's a cool. I've, I think it's going to be a cool concept. Hope I can put the writing to all. With Danny pushing the limits of his imagination, for now, he's keen to keep his ideas under wraps. Next time, the sheer scale of Danny's dreams come into focus. He's been given a blank sheet of paper to do what he wants, and so that means he just puts himself under huge pressure. Uh, well, we just needed to get uh, something built in here so we could actually ride. But will he be able to meet his own exacting standards? I feel in worse shape now than I did before my operation. To do the project is going to be a big ask. Hopefully this is the beginning of uh, something good. <laughs> <laughs>